what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so we got to talk about uh tony khan releasing a statement on twitter about the whole jeff hardy situation and i'm gonna get my thoughts opinions on what was said here um yeah man this the whole situation is just unfortunate and sad but uh i'll talk about that at the end of me reading his statement so uh on uh tony khan's uh twitter uh he and released the statement saying we were able to resume contact with jeff hardy this afternoon aw does not condone jeff uh jeff's alleged behavior we made it clear to jeff that we uh, will assist him in getting treatment for substance ab abuse issues which he had uh, has indicated that he's open to receiving in the interim he is suspended without pay and he can only return to AEW upon successfully completing treatment and maintaining his sobriety. If you or a loved one needs help, please reach out to SAMHSA's National Helpline 1 800 662 HELP or 4357 by Tony Khan. Um, uh, this. Uh, I'll, I'll find a silver lining in this situation i'm glad that they were uh, they were able to you know make some type of i guess you could say uh communication with jeff or whatnot um contact with jeff but he needs he needs help bro uh he he needs help in getting his situation together now some people are are blaming tony khan for this like Oh, you should have known about this, you know, before you, you hired him and all this other stuff. And I, I don't I don't think Tony should be receiving any blame. I don't think anyone else should be receiving any blame other than Jeff Hardy himself. Jeff Hardy should be the only person that takes full responsibility for what he did. I know um, there were reports before Jeff left that WWE was trying to get him help. Because, you know, that last match he had, he was kind of... He was kind of off or whatnot. He was saying he was fine. He was good then. And now this happens, you know, maybe he was good at the time. Maybe he wasn't, you know, under the influence or wasn't really, you know, I guess you could say like dealing, dealing with a lot. I'm not sure. I'm not him. I wasn't there. But it seems as if his old demons have come back. And it's just one of those things where it's like, there's only so much you can do as a owner. There's only so much you can do as friends. There's only so much you can do as family members. There's only so much we can do as fans. We can help for the best for Jeff, but he has to want that. He has to want the help. He has to want to change because this is like the third time this has happened, and this is not good. Hell, WWE has released him before because of this. That was one of the reasons. Hell, they made it a storyline at one point, a few times, actually. So, I don't know. It's like Jeff will get to a point, even in the past, he's kind of derailed his push uh, sometimes because of these, these things, because of what he's dealing with. And I'm all for everyone having, you know, trying to be empathetic, but I'm also on the side of there's only so many times you can be empathetic towards someone before it's like all right you gotta make some type of change if you don't want to make a change then i don't know man you, you may need i don't know you may need to step away from this wrestling thing you may need to get some help something because what you're doing now it's not helping you it's not helping your loved ones it's not helping your fans it's not helping anybody that truly cares about you because you're putting yourself in danger so what tony khan did here understandable he's 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 suspended without pay you shouldn't be rewarded for behavior like that that you constantly have been doing. This is not a one-time thing. You did this in WWE. Now you're doing this in AEW. I believe, I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe there was an incident he had in TNA as well. I think he was like, like he wasn't himself. Like I think he was, I think, I think he may have been uh, drunk. Like there was a match where he was like messed up. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe he did have an incident in TNA. And it's 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 not just the companies now. You gotta put start taking responsibility. So I hope he's able to get the help he needs. And I hope he's able to complete the course, the uh, the treatment, 
and remain sober. Don't don't give him no. Don't even talk about alcohol around him. This I mean, he needs to remain sober. And if that means you know he has to step away for a while, then that's more important than wrestling. Because this is just not looking too good. So I don't think people should be blaming Tony Khan for this. I think this that's immature. I think you're missing the point. Tony Khan has no control over what people do. All he does is signs their checks and, you know, he has control over the booking situations, but he doesn't control what they do on their off time. Come on. Even if he know, knew about his, you know, pr- prior demons, he was still willing to give him a chance. And Vince has done the same thing too. And as fans, we always want to give Jeff Hardy the chance to prove us wrong and, and you know, stay on the straight and narrow, but... Sometimes people have to want it themselves, man. But comment down below. Let me know what you guys think should uh, should happen. Uh, do you? Uh, I still want to know. Do you guys think he should, uh, even after the treatment, after he does take treatment, do you think he should come back to wrestling, or do you think it's time for Jeff Hardy to hang it up? Let me know down below. I really want to uh, start a discussion there. But uh, I'm wishing the best for Jeff, man. Praying for you, bro. You, you got to get some help because this is getting out of hand. And I, I, God forbid something happens to him or someone else. I, I would not want to hear news about that. So I'd rather he get the help he needs now. And that way we can move forward if he decides to continue to wrestle or if he decides to hang it up. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road 2, 90K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.